Hey guys, welcome back and I hope you're staying healthy. I've been working hard on my Mercy Wings since the last video and I've got some updates for you. I already showed you how the mechanism works up close and I already explained how I build the aluminum wing blades, so I want to focus a little bit more on the electronics for this video. But first I want to say hello and welcome to all the new followers on YouTube and Instagram. I posted a few work in progress videos on Reddit and uh, they completely blew up. I received so many questions and I hope to answer some of them with this video. So the biggest change to the wings since last time you saw them are clearly the glowing bits. I made them from a 4mm thick opaque plexiglass. I have glued some foam to them so they fit snugly in the wing bodies and they stay there just by friction. This plus the quick release mechanism makes them super easy to disassemble and fit in the suitcase. But once I added the plexi parts, the actuators couldn't open up the wings anymore due to weight. Now before you say, I told you so, and maybe there's a reason why people don't use real metal in cosplay, uh, I had some solutions already in mind. In total, over a few weeks, I sanded off around 400 grams of aluminum and plexi off of all the wing blades, and that seemed to do the trick. It was a test of patience. But because of that, the profile of the wing became a bit more streamlined, and that's for the better. If you've seen my LED basics video, you probably recognize that I'm using the edge lighting technique for the wings. This is when you attach the LEDs to the edge and not the bottom of the surface you want to illuminate. This ensures a better spread of light. Now the reason why the wings get so bright is because I'm using master race chip on board LEDs, not some casual LED tape. I'm just joking, they're really terrible to work with. Chip on board LEDs are power hungry, um, they heat up like crazy because they just draw so much current, um, they don't come in RGB, which I thought at this point is illegal, they aren't programmable, and they're not even flexible. But they get really, really bright. And that's the secret. How can I put this? Um, if regular LEDs are like a nice, well rounded, home cooked meal, chip on board LEDs are just like the nastiest, greasiest saltiest junk food burgers you could ever find. There's just so many reasons to avoid them and go with something just easier to work with. But here we are. It's probably because of that I haven't seen anyone use them in cosplay before me, but I'm pretty sure masochists like that exist. Even though they're not digital, I made mine animated the old fashioned analog way. There are four LED groups, wing caps, top blades, middle blades, and bottom blades. Each group has its own MOSFET on this circuit board that I made. You can think of MOSFETs as valves for electricity. They can open wide or close shut and everything in between. I can program the Arduino to tell each MOSFET how much power they should let through to the LEDs, affecting their brightness. Change those values over time and voila, you get animations. For quick access and repairs, I mounted the entire circuitry with Velcro. I made as many things modular as possible, even the Arduino itself is swappable in like two seconds. Now, powering this beast was a challenge. In the entire system there are three power rails. 5, 12 and 15 volts. This is a 5 volt voltage regulator. A voltage regulator is a device that limits voltage. This one takes 15 volts straight from the battery but it caps the output to 5 volts and it's powering the Arduino. The LEDs at most should receive 12 volts, so there's a second 12 volt regulator for that. The motors are powered directly from the 15 volt battery. Even though they are rated only for 12 volts, since they don't spin for a long time at a time, they can handle it. I'm overvolting them so they would run a bit faster. In my to-do slash wishlist of the project, I still have some things that I would like to implement. Emergency power switch. Uh, at the moment I don't really have a way to quickly kill the power to the system. Uh, remaining battery life monitoring would be useful as well. I was also thinking about implementing like a photographer button somewhere in the costume so it would pause all the animations of the LEDs and set them to max brightness so the photographer wouldn't have to, you know, time it with the animations to make the shot look perfect. But I'm sure that I'll come up with some more upgrades as I go. Anyway, so I hope you all learned something from this video. I really appreciate all the subscribers and all the questions, so uh, keep them coming and I'll see you in the next one.